Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. The Royal Court has announced the demise of Her Highness Sheikh Anura bint Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa. Men may offer their condolences at Al Zahir Palace starting Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. and from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will patronize tomorrow the opening of the first session of the fifth legislative term of the Shura Council and Council of Representatives. His Majesty the King will deliver a speech on the occasion. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued Edict 41 of 2018 regarding permission of 100% foreign capital firms to carry out the activity of cleaning up oil slicks and pollutants over land, surface, waters, seas and oceans, including coastal areas. The edict stipulated that whilst observant to the provisions of Article 345, Paragraph A of the Commercial Companies Law issued by Law Decree 21 of 2001, 100% foreign capital companies will be permitted to carry out the activity of cleaning up oil slicks and pollutants over lands, surface waters, seas and oceans, including coastal areas. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism will implement this edict effective from the next day of its publication in the official gazette. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Qurabiya Palace a number of royal family members and officials where they discussed a number of internal and external affairs. His Royal Highness asserted that the government has a solid foundation of achievements to build on in the next phase of national action and noted that the government targets all sectors to ensure a better quality of life for the citizens of Bahrain. He affirmed that the government's priority is to provide citizens with health, education, housing and social care and a pivotal goal in all its programs and current and future development plans through comprehensive development programs to fulfill the aspirations of citizens. His Royal Highness noted the comprehensive achievements of the Kingdom in health and medical care, which is an indicator of the success of the various government plans and programs aimed at the health sector, asserting his keenness to follow up on citizen satisfaction with the health services provided. He also noted the industrial development in the country and its economic importance, affirming the support of the government to these industries. He expressed aspirations towards the expansion of investments in national industries, especially with the government's support and encouragement. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Qurabiya Palace the newly appointed Russian Ambassador to Bahrain, Igor Alexandrovich Krimnev. During the meeting, His Royal Highness expressed pleasure in the growing development the Bahraini Russian relations keep witnessing and the ties that bind the two countries, as well as the joint coordination in many regional and international issues. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister asserted the Kingdom's keenness to strengthen bilateral relations with the Russian Federation in all sectors in a manner that serves joint interests and the aspirations of their peoples. His Royal Highness hailed the Russian efforts in maintaining regional and international security and assured the Russian envoy that he would be provided with all forms of support from the government departments. Ambassador Kremnev expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Premier for his keenness to enhance Bahraini-Russian cooperation and support for all efforts aimed at bolstering joint cooperation. He also affirmed his country's interest in developing cooperation with Bahrain to achieve common interests loading the advancement the kingdom keeps witnessing due to the efforts of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa delegated Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa to open the agenda of the 5th Arab Housing Conference, which is hosted by the Kingdom over the course of two days and under the patronage of His Majesty the King, under the title The Future Role of the Public Sector in Providing Social Housing. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for delegating him to open the agenda of the conference and affirmed that the event reflects His Majesty's keenness on housing affairs 
Affairs, which represents one of the key items on the priorities of the government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and supported by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. His Highness Sheikh Khalid also welcomed the guests of the conference, which included ministers of housing and construction from various Arab countries, senior officials from the United Nations and the Arab League, businessmen and investors, and specialists in the fields of economics of housing and real estate. He wished them a pleasant stay at the kingdom. During the opening speech, His Highness Sheikh Khalid then expressed hope that the conference will succeed in arriving at recommendations through its working papers, discussions and exchange of expertise among specialists for the advancement of sustainable development plans and the further development of housing policies by Arab governments. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in the kingdom's record, which boasts a long list of achievements that have offered the Bahraini citizen a dignified life. His Highness has added that the Kingdom is also among the leading countries in the region in terms of building successful partnerships with the private sector and encouraging its companies to complement the government efforts in offering social housing to citizens. Minister of Housing Basim Ben Yaqub Al Hamar then delivered a speech during the ceremony in which he also expressed thanks to His Majesty the King for patronizing the event. Hosting this conference in Bahrain uh, reflects uh, the support the Ministry of Housing and the housing agenda receives from our leadership. Uh, this is also uh, very clear and very obvious uh, when we uh, look on the ground how many uh, cities and number of housing we have achieved in a very short time. The theme of this conference focuses on the future role of the public sector and uh, we mean to achieve uh, the proper balance in this relationship between the both sectors. The most important uh, change uh, of this fifth edition is that we focus more on the cooperation with the private sector. Uh, in the early editions uh, and in the sector in general, I think we as governments uh, very often thought we could do it alone. 
And uh, a lot of effort has been uh, put and a lot of uh, finances have been put by government on trying to develop uh, social and affordable housing. Um, but more and more it's realized that it is really the private sector that built cities, that uh, uh, built uh, large-scale housing development. And I think therefore it is important that at this fifth Arab uh, housing conference we embrace the private sector as a full partner. I would like to congratulate the Kingdom of Bahrain for having this fifth uh, housing uh, conference uh, here. I think this is very, very important when we talk about housing as a centre and for the people uh, for to live and also to work and also to play. And housing actually is a very, very important because it's, we have a shelter, we have a home, and it's a, it's, a very, it's, it's a very high time that we are talking about affordable housing. This is really a milestone for the region uh, and it's very impressive to see the leadership of Bahrain. I think it's very clear that housing is a very strong component of welfare policies in the Arab, Arab region and Bahrain is leading this discussion. So the importance couldn't be, couldn't be more than what we have now. And it's also important because we see housing as a very important topic in the global development agenda. So it means also that the region, Bahrain, the Gulf countries there, they're aligned with global policies. Southern Governor His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa attended the Governorate's premier celebrations at the Sheikh Salman bin Ahmed Al Fatih Fort in Rifa'a. The celebrations marked the Kingdom's celebrations of the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatih, the 47th anniversary of its accession to the UN as a full member, and the 19th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, held at the Sheikh Salman bin Ahmed Al Fatih Fort in Rifa'a. The ceremony included many paintings and artistic works of the historical and heritage that characterizes the traditions of Rifa'a, in addition to a parade by the public security band of the Ministry of Interior. The citizens' festivities included traditional performances, poetry recitation, from the anthology of Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa by Muhammad bin Yusuf Al Bufalasa in praise of Rifa and its glorious history. The event also included patriotic songs performed by the police music band and traditional ballads associated with horseback travels. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa participated in the Bahraini Arda alongside the local dignitaries and citizens. The ceremony was attended by a number of their excellencies, in addition to representatives of government and private bodies and supporting bodies as well as Rifa'a residents.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa delegated Southern Governor Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa to attend the reception ceremony held by the Japanese Ambassador to the Kingdom Hideki Ito on the occasion of the 85th birthday of His Majesty the Emperor of Japan. A number of senior officials, deans of the diplomatic corps, invited guests were also present. Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa conveyed the good wishes of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the Emperor of Japan. His Royal Highness wished him abundant health and for his country continuous progress and prosperity. The southern governor affirmed the bilateral friendly relations and the cooperation in various fields. The Japanese ambassador to the kingdom expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister role in enhancing bilateral relations. He commended the Bahraini Japanese cooperation and keenness of both countries to further strengthen these relations. The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, inaugurated today the Shale Gas Evolution Symposium in the presence of a number of executives, technicians and experts in geology from a number of local, regional and international companies and with the participation of a number of university staff and training institutes specialized in the sector to discuss the latest developments in modern technologies on the subject of unconventional rock gas. The event is organized for the first time in Bahrain by the American Association of Petroleum Geologists, the European Association of Geologists and Engineers, and in cooperation with the National Oil and Gas Authority, and supported by Saudi Aramco, Tatwir, Schlumberde, and a number of international companies. In his opening speech, the minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the organizing committee for selecting Bahrain to hold such an important event, praising the efforts of the organizers in organizing this symposium. The minister said that modern technologies play a pivotal role in extracting shale gas in commercial quantities at a reasonable cost while taking into consideration the important environmental issues. He pointed to the most important achievements made by Bahrain this year on the discovery of quantities of light oil and associated gas, which exceeds 80 billion barrels in the Gulf of Bahrain. He also stressed that National Oil and Gas Authority pays great attention to local, regional and international participants to find out the latest developments in modern technologies to promote investment in the oil sector and develop it to increase production to improve the national economy. The minister also expressed thanks and appreciation to the organizers, engineers, speakers, participants and to all those who contributed to achieving the objective of this specialized symposium. His Excellency has directed to bring in this sort of knowledge in Bahrain because it needs specialized skills. And uh, shale gas is very popular in countries like the States or Argentina or uh, China and not much in this region, not much in the Middle East. So the idea of this uh, symposium is to bring all these experienced people and experts and uh, to share their experiences over three days. We have 30 Bahraini, young Bahraini professionals. They will be attending these events. And some of them will be actually presenting, making presentations. And there will be a lot of knowledge dissemination and knowledge sharing, best practices, lessons learned, which will be very useful for the team in developing the Bahrain assets. The region here is worldwide famous for its uh, huge resources in oil and gas. But those are huge resources, in spite of the fact that we are exporting a lot of them, they were not able to satisfy certain special needs and certain special areas. And this new resource now is helping satisfy those specific needs and helping answer some of the questions that we didn't have the answer to. Today. The importance of this conference uh, about shale gas is to develop knowledge and the network about shale gas and maybe shale oil in the, in the Arabic platform, you see. And uh, we know that there are already source rocks, many, many, so many source rocks, very prolific in the environment. 
and uh, I think this is a good place, a good uh, opportunity to share ideas, to share experiences on shale gas and shale oil. We're able to share information, both technical information and business information. We at the United States have a rich history of shale gas development. And if we can take our learnings from that, how we work with academia, service companies, industries to develop that knowledge and bring that over here to the Middle East, we have a chance to start um, at a higher learning level and implement these projects quicker. The Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmad Al Khalifa delegated the Minister of Oil Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa to attend the closing ceremony of the annual golf tournament held with the participation of 89 players at the Bahrain Golf Club in Hanina yesterday. Also present was the Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Saqar Al Nuaimi. During the ceremony, Lieutenant General Diab bin Saqar Al Nuaimi, who is Deputy Chairman of the Bahrain Golf Club, thanked the Chairman of the Bahrain Golf Club. Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmad Al Khalifa for his unlimited support to the sports sector and golf in particular and his personal keenness to hold the tournament annually dating back to more than 44 years. The Minister of Oil presented the award to the winners and honored the sponsors. He also conveyed the greetings of the Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force and his congratulations to the winners for the outstanding level. The Embassy of the Kingdom of Bahrain in Washington, D.C. has held a celebration to mark Bahraini National Day. The event was hosted by the Ambassador of Bahrain to the United States, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, at the Smithsonian National Portrait Gallery. The United States Secretary of the Navy, Richard Spencer, Vice President of Worldwide Public Sector for Amazon Web Services, AWS, Teresa Carlson, and members of the United States Congress were in attendance. In a speech, the Ambassador welcomed guests to the Bahrain National Day celebration, noting that the event also commemorates the 18th anniversary of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's accession to the throne. In this regard, Sheikh Abdullah praised His Majesty the King's groundbreaking reform vision, which was shaped Bahrain's foreign policy and helped strengthen its relationship with its closest allies, including the United States. He also highlighted the strength of Bahrain's security and partnership with the United States, noting that 2017 marks the 70th anniversary of the United States' oldest military relationship in the region. Ambassador Sheikh Abdullah welcomed the 10 billion US dollars of new business deals signed on the sidelines of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa's recent official visit to the US, noting that the magnitude of these deals illustrates the kingdom's commitment to the United States as a valued trade partner. Sheikh Abdullah concluded that Bahrain US relations continue to grow and the kingdom remains committed to exploring new partnerships opportunities. Mr. Spencer welcomed the extension of the Bahrain-U.S. Defense Cooperation Agreement, DCA, signed during His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's recent visit, noting that the measure will further solidify bilateral relations. In her remarks, the Vice President of Worldwide Public Sector for AWS highlighted that Bahrain National Day offers the opportunity to acknowledge His Majesty King Hamad's vision, which has guided the kingdom to a position of leadership across the world. Mrs. Carlson acknowledged that with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Bahrain's Economic Development Board, the EDB, Bahrain has become a world leader in cloud computing, embracing a cloud-first policy that is bringing significant value to Bahraini citizens. Well, we want to tell the Bahraini people congratulations to you on your national day. We stand with you. I had the pleasure of representing the largest naval base in the world. So we have many sailors who are over there right now in Bahrain. And we wish them well and we wish all the Bahraini people well. And we appreciate your friendship. I would like to say Bahrain is to be congratulated um, on its passion for education. I have uh, more than 32 years of experience as a teacher in Bahrain. And what I've noticed is how things continue to get better. It's important to educate children. And what is it, one of the things that has impressed me mo most is the name of the ministry. It isn't the Ministry of Education. It's the Ministry of Upbringing and Education. Wazarat Terbiya, Terbiya, what ta'alim? Which means, of course, which is more important? More important is the first part, and, and that is to be commended.
I'd like to say that Bahrain is a wonderful country. I miss it so much now that I've left. Uh, the people are so wonderful. The king takes very good care of the education of the children, and that's such an important thing in Bahrain is education. And the leaders of tomorrow are coming out of Bahrain. They are so smart. They are well prepared. And that's because the nation cares about education. The Secretariats of the Sura and Representative Councils signed a cooperation and coordination agreement with the Ministry of Information Affairs to cover and broadcast the plenary meetings of the two councils and permanent quality committees as well as to broadcast parliamentary programs related to the legislative authority. The signing ceremony was attended by the Secretary General of the Sura Council, Osama Ahmad Al Asfour, Secretary General of the Representative Council, Rashid Mohammed Bunajma, and the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Information Affairs. Affairs, Dr. Abdul Rahman Muhammad Bahar. Bahrain Bourse announced the launch of Smart Investor for the academic year 2018-2019 in collaboration with Injaz Bahrain and the support of the Ministry of Education and the Strategic Partnership with Temkin. As part of the launch of the program, Bahrain Bourse and Injaz Bahrain visited Khawarizmi Primary Boys School today to attend one of the workshops and witness the program in action. More in this report. Raising financial literacy awareness among various age groups has become a must. Smart Investor Program targets elementary students, strengthens their financial knowledge through equipping them with basic concepts related to money management, savings and smart financial planning for the future through interactive edutainment activities. Very challenging. Uh, it was an idea uh, that began uh, from uh, early 2014 and the challenge was how to simplify it uh, to uh, embed the, the investment mindset in the minds of, of uh, our young Bahrainis uh, and students in, in the schools of Bahrain. So once they become older, those core values will materialize in, in their decisions. Million trip starts with one, uh, with one step. We are at the first step now and we are going to build on it going forward so that we, we basically educate our young uh, students, our children, of what the importance of investment and hence hopefully they will take the, the, the trading to a, a higher level in the future. The target in the first phase was enrolling 5,000 students in the program and until now 5,200 students have been enrolled, exceeding the target across 61 schools, 148 classes, with the support extended from 148 educators. The program provides students with the opportunity to learn various financial literacy terminologies, recognize the importance of savings and gain knowledge on various financial planning concepts to make sound financial decisions as youngsters and have the needed knowledge and skills as they grow and develop. Well established international program in financing in uh, understanding uh, the basics of investment in shares, uh, investment in uh, bonds, investment in various other instruments in the financial market. But above all, our strength of Injaz is the 13 years experience that we have in the schools, training the trainer. So therefore, the success of this program is that we are actually training the teachers. We have uh, nearly, um, let's say, 70 schools, but inshallah next year uh, we will expand uh, uh, for all the primary schools, which is uh, nearly 113 only primary school, and we have like 13 school primary intermediate. The investment and business leaders of today were once the youngsters of yesterday, inspiring them to develop ambition, entrepreneurship and professional skills ensures a brighter tomorrow.